Hello friends, welcome to Wikipedia. Our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn. This channel uh, majorly covers various topics of mechanical engineering. So today's topic will be Vickers Harness. So in this video we will see four chapters. First one is what is mean by harness. Second one is indentation harness test method. Third, basics about Vickers Harness. And final topic will be advantages and disadvantages of Vickers Harness. So let us start the video. So harness is the ability of material to resist the deformation. So you can see the image over here. So till the at the point of broke, fracture. So till that time period it is restricting the uh, breakage. So that particular restrictions ability is called harness. So there are three ways are be uh, used in measuring the harness in the materials. So first one is a scratch harness. So by scratching the material the harness is evaluated. Second one is indentation harness where the intender is just applied with the load on the test piece. So that indentation is measured and evaluated I mean converted into harness that is the second one third one is rebound harness where the load is applied on the test piece until the elastic deformation the energy loss is evaluated and converted into harness so indentation harness method is widely used in automobile engineering field so let us see indentation test method in detail The test piece is intended until an impression is formed by a harder ball with the external force. So you can see the below image where the intender with the external force it is just loaded on the test piece. So which is creating an impression on the test piece that impression is called indentation. That indentation diameter is measured and further converted into harness in various scale. So there are four different methods. Uh, harness scales are used in, in the field. Uh, first one is Brinnell harness and second one is Vickers harness, third one is Rockwell harness and final is Soar harness. So in this video we will see about Vickers harness. So the Vickers harness was developed in 1921 at Vickers Limited, it is a British company. I mean it is used to de determine the harness in various test load even from 10 gram to 100 kg. This particular harness is having test method is having wide range of testing possibilities and it's called even micro harness method and one great advantage in this method is that intender is an equilateral primate diamond. It's like a cone shape. At the bottom it is having 136 degree angle. So if you see the below image that indentation will be in the uh, square shape. So the measuring the uh, square shape D1 and D2 it is very easy compared to other Brunel harness and other harnesses. So where the ball is used the diameter uh, indentation is created. The measuring diameter indentation can create some confusion. Here the measurement of the indentation is very accurate and it will lean, it will not lead to any error. And like I said, the weaker harness has one of the widest scales among the harness tests. So here you can just check all across the materials from steel to copper, aluminium, all across this area metals it can be checked. You can see the table over here, micro harness range and low force harness range and macro range. That's a conventional hard range. It covers all across the material, even from uh, thin sheet and small specimens and all across the area it is being covered. That is what this HV Vickers harness is widely used in automobile engineering and most of the me mechanical engineering field. 
So let us see the advantages and disadvantages of Vickers harness. So advantages less force. If you see it is hardly used maximum 1 kg load or normally it is being 100 grams based on the applications. So less force and more accurate. And it, like I said, it can be used for all type of material, entire harness range it is being used. And it's very easy to measure less error because the diagonal of squares can be easily evaluated without error, not like a diameter on other models. You can see the image over here. And coming to the disadvantages, it is highly time because in this weaker harness, the diameter uh, in tender is very small and uh, that is the uh, uh, that is the reason we need to prepare the specimen and the specimen only it can be measured so high lead time to prepare the speci uh, specimen so the for the surface quality that is a one disadvantage second one is so for measuring for measuring indentation we need to have a optical system so it's costly investment so otherwise this indentation will be very small cannot be measured by bad eyes accurately so it requires a visual optical system so it, it needs for some costly investment and this particular method from washer to till high heavy components like a camshaft and crankshaft type of all across the parts in the engine and automobile engineering this harness is being used friends hope you got the basic knowledge about Vickers harness and thanks for watching the video please like and share the video